is now. It has come to the disappearance of Paul Weir's baby. It has come to the fact that the, the U.S. intelligence is deeply involved in what is happening down here. Not only because Paul Weir's first baby mother, baby no, mother number one, as we like to refer to her, is also a federal agent. Um, and I can tell you, she works for the DEA, which is a drug enforcement agency. That's the agency she works for. Paul Weir's baby mother number one. And being a federal agent, I said in my first voice note about this matter, is that she cannot lie about anything regarding the disappearance of this, um, this whore that said that it's Paul Weir's baby that she have. And Paul will have to know, claim the baby and who owned the baby. JY family, silent viewers, silent listeners, if this is your first time to the channel, please, I'm asking you to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to be notified, because if you don't hit the bell icon, it don't make no sense. You're not going to see the channel again. No, JY family, we got this bombshell, this bombshell vice note, with it, it is alleged that it is Karen Cross. Yeah, I don't know if Karen Cross is a PMP, and me I tell us that trust me, JY family is not a good look. Make we go and listen it, listen to it. Mem make sure to share it, please. And we are gonna open the phone line. Can C Karen Cross a voice note hurts the PMP chance of winning? JY family, we soon open the voice note. Stay tuned. Call on a friend them. Share on WhatsApp status, please. Share on Facebook. Share on Instagram. Share it all over because right now, you know, say the election are heat up right now in that world down to the wire. And at any given time, right now, the election can call. All right. So stay tuned. We soon come back. No, it has come to the disappearance of Paul Weir's baby. It has come to the fact that the, the U.S. intelligence is deeply involved in what is happening down here. Not only because Paul Weir's first baby mother, baby no, mother number one, as we like to refer to her, is also a federal agent. Um, and I can tell you, she works for the DEA, which is a drug enforcement agency. That's the agency she works for, Paul Weir's baby mother number one. And being a federal agent, I said in my first voice note about this matter, is that she cannot lie about anything regarding the disappearance of this, um, this whore that said that it's Paul Weir's baby that she have. And Paul will have to now claim the baby and who owned the baby. Now, I am not ruling out the fact that she might still be a person of interest and she might very well still be on the radar of the police because in a matter like this, when a person is missing for eight days, the obvious suspects are the husband, boyfriend, man, boyfriend, or the husband, woman, ex-woman, wife, whatever it is. But these people are the usual suspects. And suffice to say, more than one occasion, 99% of the time, it is always one of them. Always. But I am confident in myself. Confident that Philip Paulwell couldn't arm him baby and the whore who claimed that this baby is his. He couldn't. Philip Paulwell can't even kill a chicken for him Christmas dinner. That's how, that's how much of a kind of a naive and coward Philip Paulwell is. But Philip Paulwell, I don't even know if he killed fly. You know, but he couldn't kill a chicken for saving life on Christmas Day. In the first instance when we were told that Paulwell's phone was cloned, Angela Brownberg is a person that cloned Paul Wells' phone. Paul Wells' investigation. JY family, you, you might want to share this. You might want to share this right now because right here, so it gets serious. JY family, when you hear what I'm going, we need to listen to the party. I'm good, you know. All these are alleged. The views that express here is not up. Jamaica YouTube TV. And if you should feel offended, Jamaica YouTube TV will not be held accountable. And just remember that this channel is not politically driven by either party. And neither do we solicit any form of monetary funding to bring these topics. Yeah, man. So, JY family, please like and share as you come on in. Like and share, like and share. Phone. Paul Wells investigation. 
produced that result. And Paul Wells, well, and the, well, and the person that cloned Paul Wells' phone. Paul Wells' investigation produced that result. And Paul Wells, in return, um, reported the matter to the FBI, to the police and to the FBI. Why? Because this is international crime. This is not a crime that only the, the, the Jamaican police can handle. Because Paul Wells is a public figure. And being a public figure and a former minister of government who still has access to some places, if his phone is cloned, the FBI would be interested. Whether anybody called him, yes or no, they would be interested. Because JY family, when I hear this year, big bombshell this year, who clone, who clone Philip Powell phone. Hmm. Listen to this year, JY family. What the FBI does be interested in things. The FBI interviewed Paul, Paul Well. And anybody who knows the, how the FBI operate, anybody who knows how the FBI operate, when the FBI is sitting down to ask questions, these are questions that they already have the answers to. The asking you of the questions is to see if you're going to lie or to see if you could add anything to whatever they know or take away anything to whatever they know. That is the reason why they ask the questions. FBI don't ask questions that they don't already know the answers to. Trust me on that. So Paul Well reported the matter of the cloning of his phone. The FBI got involved. And then the FBI sat down with Paul Well to interview about the phone. And in interviewing about the phone and talking about the demand for the 50,000 US, the FBI informed Paul Well that the account number that was submitted to him for this $50,000 demand for his phone was an account that is that belongs to Paul, Carl, Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke. JY family, I wonder if you know a follow our guard and our listen and our hear our guard. JY family, share the stream, share the stream on the area. On the here, yeah. No, sir. And what is here? No, sir. No. For this $50,000 demand for his phone was an account that is that belongs to Paul, Carl, Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke. JY family. Of, Paul well, of that, yeah. that this bank account that they say you must put this 50000 US in. It's Paul Burke and Angela Brownberg's bank account. Hi. The FBI tell Paul Will, Paul Will know that Paul Will has that information. JY family, you know here, yeah? You know here, this a bombshell, yeah? What, what, what's going on right here? This a case, yeah, wider than river. What, what are you so? No, sir. Mm -mm. It's Paul Burke and Angela Brownberg's bank account. The FBI tell Paul that Paul will know that Paul will have that information. Mark Golden knows and he has this information. Hey. Mark Golden knows and he has the information. Lots of a, a couple other people know. A couple other people know. I would go as far as saying that even PG himself probably know as a former prime minister. I would imagine that the Minister of National Security in Jamaica also knows. Hey. Or he has been given a brief. Nah. I would imagine that. I'm not saying right off the bat that he knows, but I would imagine that FBI would give him a brief as well, or his, his staff would get a brief, you know, on, on, on that matter. The pictures that was being sent to Paul Well, 8 year old daughter, came from that phone. JY family, it get deeper, you know. It's getting deeper. It's getting deeper. Listen to this apart, you know. Hey. The views that express here is not up. Jamaica YouTube TV. Marco, we just a review the voice note, all right? So it goes without saying that Angela Brownberg is the one sending those pictures. Hmm. The pictures. Now, mind you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joining the two things, the disappearance of being mother number two and what Angela doing, but it was the beginning of everything. I don't get to the meat of the matter where I can join the two, the two things and make, and make it into one, but I get in there. I promise you the information is slow and, and sometimes these people work slow in terms of share. JY family, 
basically Karen, Karen Cross has said, look here, enough information she have, but she will wait and a look if it had come out in a public. She don't want to release them yet. She says she is getting there, but they are moving like a molasses in the media. She don't know why it takes so long. Make sure so you don't get confused. Listen. Hey, hey. And, and sometimes these people work so in terms of sharing, you know? But Paul well phone with that picture and all of that that was sent to the baby. They are baby mother number one. And the baby saw them. That was Angela Bromberg's doing. All of that was her doing. The police reported yesterday that they took off a person of interest off of the plate. JY family, remember the other day, um, about uh, two days ago, them say a person of interest is held for the missing baby mother, Karen Cross. I go break down that because I never get to do a follow up because I was so busy on the job as you jalan don't know me thing go, you know. Yeah, so Karen Cross I go break down that part of the story. Listen to this. Off of the plane. Now at first there was a rumor that the person that they took off the plane was baby mother number one, who's the federal agent, was leaving the country. Okay. Now, I said to those who was saying that, stop that. No, no, God said that can't be true. Now, why did I say it can't be true? And when she mentioned about baby mother number one, this is the baby mother number one. And as you guys can see, her name is on the screen. You know, yes. So this is who she's referring to baby mother number one all right so anytime you hear she say baby mother number one this is the person her name is leoda bradshaw and she made that very clear other day in the public you know persons were even calling her the wife you know and this is baby mother number two which she described uh she described as a double h o r E, all right? Those are not the word of Jamaica YouTube TV. All right. It can't be true because she has been here. She has been here. She has been here since, since the whole saga. The police must have questioned her more than once. And, and, ever, and, and maybe informed her not to leave the country or something. So it, it is just not a logical thing to say that she attempted to leave the country and then hold her off at the airport. That is not a logical argument because she has been here. And if she has been here, then we must assume that the police question her and we must assume that they say to her, do not move. We're not finished with you yet. She's a federal agent. So there's hardly much the police in Jamaica can do unless them have some hard and fast facts. So basically, Karen Cross is saying right now, at the moment, baby mother number one and philip powell is a suspect everybody is a suspect no one is exempt from this situation right now so baby mother number one even though she resides in the united states of america she's now in jamaica and she cannot move based on the investigation that's what current cross is saying all right so we're going at it again about she being involved at any high rate about the disappearance of this woman and the baby, right? But international um, um, exchange of information and intelligence and, and, and all of that is kind of funny and fuzzy in, in some respects, right? But I, I concluded that it wasn't she. Lo and behold, we understand today that the person of interest is a relative of Angela Brownberg. And that person might very well have been involved in the cloning of the phone and the information gathering yes. and sending out of information on Paul Well phone. JY family has some serious information, them here, you know. One day for the know there are some serious information, them here. These are some serious allegations current cross is making. Remember that this lady is still missing in you know, a JY family. And Karen Cross, she did not hold back anything, right? She did not hold back anything. So 
she know say has some damning information she has released right now. JY family, trouble there. Hmm. Jamaican village lawyers them across the country would have been sitting down and trying to figure out the thing a long time ago. We know that you have been doing that, all of you village lawyers out there. We know. You know what the hurtful thing is about all of this? Mark Golden knows. Hey. Mark Jefferson Golden, the president of the People's National Party, he knows. See, when he get bitter, you know, towards Mark Golden, this is the part when it get really bitter, you know, JY family. Listen to this, you know. He has Angela Brownberg chairing PNP conference while the FBI have an investigation. Come on, PNP people. Come on. What's the matter with Uno? Mark Golden, the leader, Uno just basically make leader for life. I don't want to make light of that. Uno give a constitutional right to stay in power for whatever length of time you want to stay in power, because that is how we're going to read it, no matter what Uno think. Him have the chairman of the party, Angela Brownberg, chairing party conference, a national, regional, international event, while she's under active investigation from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Mark Golden knows. JY family. Basically, current cross is saying Angela Brownberg know everything was one and she on an investigation, active investigation, and she the part campaign and a she responsible. She had the front runner. She responsible for everything. And Philip Powell um given back seat to the party. JY family, listen to this here. And him, Mark Golden, that dirty, nasty, raw white man, that traitor, that Judas, that son of a slave owner, have the audacity to a tell a PMP MP of 26 years, say he mustn't come to PMP conference. Why never not put PMP people? Why never not listen to me? Mark Golden, the president of the People's National Party, told Philip Powell, former minister of government, former vice president of the PMP former regional chairman for region three, former chairman of the party. A man that has done so much for the PNP. Mark Golden, this little piece of shit. JY family, the views that express here is not off Jamaica YouTube TV. Wanna think about this. Should Philip Powell be exempt from the PNP party? due to the fact that his baby mother and child is missing and he's under investigation he's a person of interest and as she mentioned allegedly that angela brownberg is under investigation but she is on the party campaign what is going on jy family are there any truth to any of this talk to me down in the comment section Chobredea. This little piece of white, stinking, dirty shit telling PMP MP that he mustn't come to PMP conference. This man who votes for Delroy Chuck every election. I tell Philip Paulwell not to come to conference while him have Angela Brownberg at your conference. Wanna tell me, PMP people? Wanna tell me? And Paulwell, such a coward. Free to talk these things, free to come out and tell the country what the situation is so the country can understand that this is the situation, this is where I'm feeling, this is where I'm under. JY family, just check, just check if you click the like button, please. Check if you click the like button, it is very important. I mean, I'm going to one minute for share, one minute for share, share, please. Share for on WhatsApp, share in on Instagram, share for YouTube, share all over JY family. Please, may I beg on you? Yeah, man. So, on a check. All right, ready again. Ready. Share and like. We have some people around him are telling him about boy, the party and the party. Them love do that. Is is their favorite phrase when it suits them. Is their favorite phrase as he should suffer and he should die. And he should be under stress and distress. 
an embarrassment because the party, you know, the party is bigger than all of us, and it's the party. So Paul will, between two minds, sit up in the yard, depressed and sad, and afraid to talk about these things. And may I call him out from yesterday, I tell him, say, if you come talk, if you come tell the country, you have an obligation to tell the country what happened, what happened with him phone, who called him phone, did he in, um, report it to the police? Did the police in, um, interview him? Did the FBI interview him? Did he have a discussion with the F? He needs to come out and say it. Hmm. And do it. The man tell him about the party. The party don't exist. Uncle Mark Golden and Peter Bunsen and Dean Campbell, Angela Brombrock, and a few rise united people. The man around there. That's it. Oh, Jesus. Nobody else in there is feeling a part of the People's National Party as they should. Not the MPs, not the authentic PMP, not PMP people who have bled and struggled and worked them tears off and sacrificed for this party. Not them. <laughs> them not a part of this. This is just marking a few people. Because Mark invests some money in the PMP. And he will get back in returns that I now let it go till he get back in returns or until the PNP delegates and decide that they have had enough. Hey. Whoa. I am not. I am not um, big enough myself in big support for Paul. Well, because some part of me is a part of me that just said, What the ras is wrong with this man? He has been walked. Excuse the bad word, JY family. Excuse the bad word. Times to stay away from these people. Stop being in there. Stop trying to work things out. Stop trying to bring the party together. He has been warned. Him not stop. I'm a PMP. Him not stop trying to see if he can get it together. We wish sometimes that he might stop. Because these people are not good. These people will do anything to hold on to power. It is their power that they are more interested in than anything else. Not the party. Just the power that the party gives them. So, Philip Powell, if you should receive this voice note, you have to come out, man. So, it's obvious that Karen Cross want the voice note to reach John Public. Karen Cross want the voice note to reach the diaspora of Jamaica. So, this I don't know, leak voice note, JY family. Want to hear that part? Want to hear the part there? Listen again. You have to come out, man. You have to come out. Yes, you know I can access information. Hold on there, hold on there. Let me pull it up. Listen to the part here, listen to the part here. Power, power that the party gives them. So, Philip Powell, if you should receive this voice note. Okay. You have to come out, man. All right. You have to come out. Yes. You know I can access information, and I will put out what, what I can. I can't put, say everything, you know? But you are the victim, boss. You should come out, and you have been a minister of government. You have been a fixture in this country for 26 years. You need to come out and, and tell the country. Tell the country what happened. The country have a right to know. It is the country who will decide who leads them in the next um, general elections or the next local government election. It is the country, the people who vote. One of the mistakes that politicians continuously make is that they believe that as politicians, their lives are private. Your lives are not private. You're a public servant. There's nothing in your life that is private. Not a thing. There are private matters. Yes. There are some matters you would like to keep private, but if the public get a hold of it, it's not private anymore. The public has a right to know what's happening in this. You can't stay up in your yard um, in depression, constantly in depression. You can't. And I know that, I know that Lisa Hannah and some people would not want me to say this. Hey. JY family on a jar cheer, jar cheer right now. Get a drink, run go a bathroom. I come back. Go and use the bathroom if you want to use the bathroom. Get a drink, get a sip of something because trouble there. Lisa Hannah name call you know. Lisa Hannah name call you know. 
Yes, man. I know at least one of the people's favorite. Listen to the party, I know. <laughs> Some people would not want me to say this. But I understand that when Paul will up there on Monday in his depressive state and saddened state and answering no phone calls, not answering his, his, his gift, not answering nobody, I understand that Lisa Rene Shanti Hannah hey. went up to Paul Wells house, drive up to him house, went inside, tidy up house, make suit for Paul Wells. What? What we you say? Big up Lisa Hannah, big up Lisa Hannah for that, allegedly. <laughs> well, look after him. She had drawn furniture. I understand that Lisa and I was up there going out with all kind of things. And when she done do all of that, she ordered food and call up some people, some former MPs, MPs, senators, call up Damien Crawford and call up some other people and tell them, say, who to come show some support to her brother? And they all went up and lifted him up a little higher. I'm sorry, people. But these things the public must know. Oh, you can't keep these things quiet. The public must know that Lisa and I went up to Powell House to cook soup for him and rearrange him furniture. Well, well, JY family, as we say, this is Karen Cross part of the story. You understand? And she had, she had, she she, she not hold back nothing. She attacked from every side, you know. And she go as far as bigging up Lisa Hanna right now. You see me? So, are there any truth to this voice note? So, open the phone line. What want to think? What want to think, JY family? Remember, 775-378-1640. My moderators, start drop the number. The phone line open. Phone line is open right now. Came bring tears to the eyes when I heard I'm telling you. And invite up some other people. We come and and, and DM me and, and some other people. And then jam with him till midnight or thereafter. And he felt better. And that is how comrades gather around comrades. And this piece of shit that Uno Avakal leader of the PMP, I tell Paul, I say, you know, for my PMP conference. Why well, am I telling her? If this is it, I tell you there's no comeback for the PMP. None. And the Jamaican people is going to hear everything. And I promise you already that I'm going to make the Jamaican people know everything so that when they go to the polls, they know what they should do. Hey. I'm angry. I know this conference uh... is angry and agitated. I'm sorry. But I am angry. I'm mm. very angry mm. because I've been holding this from yesterday and Paul will need to come out. I'm very angry about it. Very, very angry. But um, anger doesn't solve anything, it doesn't. JY family, hold this son. Hold this look to Uno. Hold this look to Uno. Can Karen Cross hurt the PMP? That is the question. Because she said, this is just the tip, you know. This is just the tip of the iceberg, you know, that Karen Cross has said, you know, she, she have more information, you know. But as she mentioned, that the media works very slow. Them work like molasses. So she await and watch and see what go on. And if they don't release certain information, she a come back and she just all drop some bam. She just all start drop the bomb them like a hot bread right now. Because she said people need to know. <laughs> no, sir. Maybe some of you are not familiar with Karen Cross. Right? So, let us get you up to date. And who is Karen Cross? All right? Who is Karen Cross? Current cross expel from PNP. The People National Party PNP has expelled controversial member Karen Cross. The decision was made on Monday during a meeting of the party executive committee. 
In a statement, the PMP did not detail the reason for the expulsion. However, it said the decision was made after considering a report of its disciplinary committee and accordance with section 260 of the party constitution. Hey. The expulsion take place. Sorry, the expulsion takes immediate effect. So them never give her no time when they might expel her. In a 2020, no, 2021, September 2021, September 27, 2021, to be exact, JY family. So who is Karen Cross? Cross has been in a legal wrangling with PMP General Secretary Dr. Dayton Camber over allegations she made about him. So Karen Cross is not a person to keep her mouth. She's very outspoken and she does talk her mind, JY family. You understand? And she no wait on media to attack you. She attack you before you you are even ready. Before you get your arsenal, get your Sheila, everything are ready for the battle. No, Karen depay you like a leech long time. Camber has sued her for defamation in a matter that is now before the court. So this is from 2021, the reading. Cross has also been actively protesting against the current leadership of the party. On Thursday, she led a demonstration at the gate of the party on Old Hope Road in St. Andrew. So JY family, I know TDR yesterday, Karen Cross, a campaign. Unlike some other people, when them get expel, expel or expulsion or whatever it is, are kicked from the party, they just go and go about their ways. No, Karen Cross, Cross, Cross at her bounty killer. She decides, say, she now make them rest. No rest for the wicked at that current cross, I say. Because she said Mark Golden is a wicked, quote unquote. You understand? So, JY family, the phone line is open. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this damning vice note? And she know her, her intended target. Karen Cross know her intended target. She know what she want this vice note to do. John, she wanted to reach John Public and the diaspora and international everything. You know what she said? She touched on everything, JY family. But there is one thing I have to talk about. And this is my opinion. Right? I don't like the fact that she don't show no remorse for the missing lady. She called her a W-H-O-R and she blamed her, yeah, for a lot of stuff, JY family. I don't know if you hear that part. Me I'm going to play that specific part again. As me tell you guys, the phone line is open, but that's my take on it. I don't like the fact that, you know, remember I said today for me, Tomorrow for you. You don't know what the future holds. You understand? Yeah. So, boy, I don't I don't understand how she just come out and just diss up the, the, the baby mother like that. But as I said, don't take my word for it. Listen to this part. Listen to this little part. Then when we come back, we we'll read some message and take some call. The phone line open. See Crystal, my moderator is there. Crystal, my moderator, I drop the link. Drop the phone number. Yeah, man. Karen is deranged. De Jano Star. So, listen to the local part here. Yeah. No. It has come to the disappearance of Paul Wells' baby. It has come to the fact that the, the U.S. intelligence is deeply involved in what is happening down here. Not only because Paul Wells' first baby mother, baby mother number one, as we like to refer to her, is also a federal agent. 
Um, and I can tell you, she works for the DEA, which is a drug enforcement agency. That's the agency she works for, called Res Beardman, the number one. And being a federal agent, I said in my first voice note about this matter, is that she cannot lie about anything regarding the disappearance of this, um, this whore that said that it's Paul Red Baby that she have on top. JY family, me not like the part there. I do like that part. You understand? But that, that's just me still. You understand? That's just me. You guys don't have to agree with me. Let me let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. As I told you guys, this channel is an opinionated channel. You know? Yeah. She call her out straight, straight. No go wrong, no bend. She never stutter or anything. Yeah. Um, this whore that said that is Paul the baby that she have. And Paul will have to know claim the baby and own the baby. Now, I am not rude. So basically, she a question the baby if it's for Powell or what. You understand? Because she said Powell have to own the baby after she go ahead and go ahead and call her name. She said Powell have to own the baby. So right away she a question if the baby a jacket or the baby she don't know what go on, you know. So Powell just own the baby. Basically that she has said. The fact that she might still be a person of interest and she might very well still be on the radar of the police. Because in a matter like this, when a person is missing for eight days, the obvious suspects are the husband, boyfriend, man, boyfriend, or the husband, woman, ex-woman, wife, whatever it is. But these people are the usual suspects. And suffice to say, more than one occasion, 99% of the time, it is always one of them. Always. But I am confident in myself. Confident that Philip Paulwell couldn't arm in baby and the whore who claim that this baby is. His. There it goes. There she goes again. There she goes again. JY family calling her. Didn't see him name again. You understand? So no respect, no remorse for the missing baby mother, allegedly. Yeah. Who claim that this baby is it? Self, self. Confident that Philip Paulwell couldn't arm in baby and the whore who claimed that this baby is his. He couldn't. Philip Paulwell can't even kill a chicken for him Christmas dinner. That's how that's all much of a kind of a naive and coward Philip Paulwell is. But Philip Paulwell, I don't even know if he killed fly. You know, but he couldn't kill a chicken for saving life on Christmas Day. In the first instance, when we're told that Paulwell's phone was cloned, Angela Brownberg is a person that cloned Paulwell's phone. Paulwell's investigation produced that result. And Paulwell, in return, um, reported the matter to the FBI, to the police and to the FBI. Why? Because this is international crime. This is not a crime that only the, the, the Jamaican police can handle. Because Paulwell is a public figure. And being a public figure and a former minister of government who still has access to some places, if his phone is cloned, the FBI would be interested. Whether anybody call them yes or no, they would be interested because that's what the FBI does. Be interested in things. The FBI interviewed Paul, Paul Well. And anybody who knows the, how the FBI operate, anybody who knows how the FBI operate, when the FBI is sitting down to ask questions, these are questions that they already have the answers to. The asking you of the questions is to see if you're going to lie or to see if you could add anything to whatever they know or take away anything to whatever they know. That is the reason why they ask the questions. FBI don't ask questions that they don't already know the answers to. Trust me on that. So Powell reported the matter of the clone of his phone. The FBI got involved. And then the FBI sat down with Powell to interview about the phone. And in interviewing about the phone and talking about the demand for the 50,000 US, the FBI informed Powell 
that the account number that was submitted to him for this $50,000 demand for his phone was an account that is that belongs to Paul Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke. The FBI informed Paul well of that, that this bank account that they say you must put this 50,000 US in is Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke's bank account. The FBI tell Powell that Powell knows that Powell has that information. Mark Golden knows and he has this information. Mark Golden knows and he has the information. Lots of a couple other people know. A couple other people know. I would go as far as saying that even PG himself probably know as a former prime minister. I would imagine that the Minister of National Security in Jamaica also knows, or he has been given a brief. I would imagine that, I'm not saying right off the bat that he knows, but I would imagine that FBI would give him a brief as well, or his, his staff would get a brief, you know, on, on that matter. The pictures that was being sent to Paulwell, eight-year-old daughter, came from that phone. So it goes without saying that Angela Bromberg is the one sending those pictures. The pictures, now, mind you, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joining the two things, the disappearance of being mother number two and what Angela doing, but it was the beginning of everything. I don't get to the meat of the matter where I can join the two, the two things and make, and make it into one. But I get in there. I promise you, the information is slow and, and sometimes these people work slow in terms of sharing, you know? But Paul well phone with that picture and all of that that was sent to the baby. They are baby mother number one, and the baby saw them. That was Angela Bromberg's doing. All of that was her doing. The police reported yesterday that they took off a person of interest off of the plane. Now, at first, there was a rumor that the person that they took off the plane was baby mother number one, who is the federal agent, was leaving the country. Now, I said to those who was saying that, stop that. Now, like I said, that can't be true. Now, why did I say it can't be true? It can't be true because she has been here. She has been here, she has been here since, since the whole saga. The police must have questioned her more than once and, and, have her, and, and maybe informed her not to leave the country or something. So it, it is just not a logical thing to say that she attempted to leave the country and then hold her off at the airport. That is not a logical argument because she has been here. And if she has been here, then we must assume that the police question her and we must assume that they say to her, do not move. We're not finished with you yet. She's a federal agent. So there's hardly much the police in Jamaica can do unless them have some hard and fast facts about she being involved at any high rate about the disappearance of this woman and the baby, right? But international um, um, exchange of information and intelligence and, and, and all of that is kind of funny and fuzzy in, in some respects, right? But I, I concluded that it wasn't she. Lo and behold, we understand today that the person of interest is a relative of Angela Brownberg. And that person might very well have been involved in the cloning of the phone and the information gathering and sending out of information on Paul Well phone. Now, Jamaican village lawyers them across the country would have been sitting down and trying to figure out the thing a long time ago. We know that you have been doing that, all of you village lawyers out there. We know. You know what the hurtful thing is about all of this? Mark Golden knows. Mark Jefferson Golden, the president of the People's National Party, he knows. And he has Angela Brownberg chairing PMP conference while the FBI have an investigation. Come on, PMP people. Come on. What's the matter with Uno? Mark Golden, the leader, Uno just basically make leader for life. I don't want to make light of that. Uno give a constitutional right to stay in power for whatever length of time he wants to stay in power. Because that is how we're going to read it, no matter what Uno think. Him have the chairman of the party, Angela Brownberg, chairing party conference, a national, regional, international event. While she's under active investigation 
from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Mark Golden knows. And him, Mark Golden, that dirty, nasty, raw white man, that traitor, that Judas, that son of a slave owner, have the audacity to a tell a PMP MP of 26 years, say mustn't come to PMP conference. What if you not PMP people, what if you not listen to me? Mark Golden, the president of the People's National Party, told Philip Powell, former minister of government, former vice president of the PMP, former regional chairman for Region 3, former chairman of the party, a man that has done so much for the PMP. Mark Golden, this little piece of shit, this little piece of white, stinking, dirty shit, telling PMP MP, that he mustn't come to PNP conference. This man who vote for Delroy Chuck every election. I tell Philip Paulwell not to come to conference while him have Angela Brown broke at your conference. Wanna tell me, PNP people? Wanna tell me? And Paulwell, such a coward, free to talk these things, free to come out and tell the country what the situation is so the country can understand that this is the situation, this is where I'm feeling, this is where I'm under. I have some people around him I tell him about boy, the party and the party them love do that is their favorite phrase. When it suits them, is their favorite phrase that he should suffer and he should die and he should be under stress and distress and embarrassment. Because the party, you know, the party is bigger than all of us, and it's the party. So Paul will, between two minds, sit on up in yard, depressed and sad, and free to talk about these things. And may I call him out from yesterday and tell him, say, if you come talk, if you come tell the country, you have an obligation to tell the country what happened, what happened with him phone, who called him phone, did he in, um, report it to the police? Did the police in, um, interview him? Did the FBI interview him? Did he have a discussion with the F? Even if he come out and say it and do it, I'm going to tell him about the party. The party don't exist on the Mark Golden and Peter Bunsen and Dayton Campbell, Angela Brombrock, and a few rise united people, the man around there. That's it. Nobody else in there is feeling a part of the People's National Party as they should. Not the MPs, not the authentic PMP, not PMP people who have bled and struggled and walked them kids off and sacrificed for this party. Not them. Them that are part of this. This is just marketing few people. Because Mark invests some money in the PMP. And he'll get back in returns that I now let it go till him get back in returns or until the PNP delegates and decide that they have had enough. I am not, I am not um, big enough myself in big support for Paul. Well, because some part of me, there's a part of me that just said, What the Ross is wrong with this man? He has been warned many times to stay away from these people, stop being in there, stop trying to work things out, stop trying to bring the party together. He has been warned, he not stop, I'm a PMP, he not stop trying to say if he can get it together. We wish sometimes that he might stop. Because these people are not good. These people will do anything to hold on to power. It is their power that they are more interested in than anything else. Not the party, just the power that the party gives them. So Philip Powell, if you should receive this voice note, you have to come out, man. You have to come out. Yes, you know I can access information and I will put out what, what I can. I can't put, say everything, you know, but you are the victim boss. You should come out and you have been a minister of government, you have been a fixture in this country for 26 years. You need to come out and, and tell the country. Tell the country what happened. The country have a right to know. It is the country who will decide who leads them in the next um, general elections or the next local government election. It is the country. 
the people who vote. One of the mistakes that politicians continuously make is that they believe that as politicians, their lives are private, your lives are not private, you're a public servant. There's nothing in your life that is private. Not a thing. There are private matters. Yes. There are some matters you would like to keep private, but if the public get a hold of it, it's not private anymore. The public has a right to know what's happening in this. You can't stay up in your yard um, in depression, constantly in depression. You can't. And I know that, I know that Lisa Hanna and some people would not want me to say this, but I understand that when Paul was up there on Monday in his depressive state and saddened state and answering no phone calls, not answering his, his, his gift, not answering nobody, I understand that Lisa Renee Shanti Hannah went up to Paul Wells house, drive up to him house, went inside, tidy up house, make soup for Paul Well, look after him, change around furniture. I understand that Lisa and I was up there going out with all kind of things. And when she done do all of that, she ordered food and call up some people, some former MPs, MPs, senators, call up Damian Crawford and call up some other people and tell them, say, who to come show some support to her brother? And they all went up and lifted him up a little higher. I'm sorry, people, but these things the public must know. No, you can't keep these things quiet. The public must know that Lisa and I went up to Powell House to cook soup for him and rearrange him furniture. She had bring tears to my eyes when I heard her telling you. And invite up some other people, Wickham and, and, and Damian and some other people, and then jam with him till midnight or thereafter. And he felt better. And that is how comrades gather around comrades. And this piece of shit that Uno Avakar leader of the PMP, I tell Paul, I say, you know, my PMP conference? Why am I telling her? If this is it, I tell her there's no comeback for the PMP. None. And the Jamaican people is going to hear everything. And I promise you already that I'm going to make the Jamaican people know everything so that when they go to the polls, they know what they should do. I'm angry. I know this come across as angry and agitated. And so, JY family, want to hear that phone itself. Want to hear it. Karen Cross, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I go ahead and I, follow, I pull up the information from 2021. Karen Cross was kicked out of the People National Party from September 27, 2021. And from that day until now, Karen Cross now nah stop joke the Negro in a PMP. Anyhow she can uh, anyhow she get the Negro. Any which part you see where she can insert the Negro for her PMP, she now nah stop. At one point, the Karen Cross go as far as um demonstrating trust me she get some other people and demonstrate jy family listen to me me not like talk about the things them without proof so listen to this here this is current cross demonstration and she was the pmp activist listen to this here. they make their decisions and we make it and that's basically that but we're standing firm and we're not moving. We came here to demand the new registration of Bob McElroy as part of the opposition leader. We came here to demand the registration, the mass registration of Bob McElroy, the PAP guy, and Peter Bond. So uh, our goals remain the same, and we will stay here as long as we. I don't want anything. One word that I try to avoid. I prefer need than necessary. And um, I am not promoting anyone, but um, I think the, the division within the party right now is so great that it's kind of hard 
to pinpoint a person, but I can say this. I would want somebody who is going to look at all the courses and all the all the all the um the campus and be able to bring them together and come to some kind of um, um some kind of arrangement as to how we proceed as a as a party. And that could be anybody from Philip Caldwell to 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 Mr. Hanson down. Um but I'm not particularly uh, promoting anybody. All I want is for the people's national party get us some relevance. Let's get us some relevance. Just, just, just be there for the ground troops, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the people, the base, and to show Jamaica that we are an opposition party to this country again. And right now we are able to, to prove to the Jamaican people that we are doing that. But I'm not so focused. So, so JY family, Yaman. Yeah, yeah, so that is when she keep the protests. She protests in 2021, JY family. So let me go ahead and read some comments right now. So I want to ask about this vice note and, you know, and the question still stand, you know. Can Karen Cross vice note hurt PMP? Can Karen Cross vice note hurt PMP chance of winning the election? Would nothing say? um labor right the jlp can use this mm, a fire shot over the pmp or oh, nothing so lorian taylor big of herself lorian taylor sadiki taylor well on lorian taylor and sadiki taylor on a on a, on a family raw tv good night raw tv uh, how we raw tv this the name raw tv or raw tv yeah, so Sadiki has a Sadiki Taylor has a revelation time. Lorian Taylor has a clearly you are hurt for getting kicked out of the party. You are bitter. You just coming out to talk. No, after so many years, so many days, they are missing. You just coming out to talk. Okay. Ah boy, Ruo TV say, what is the boyfriend hiding? What boyfriend? What boyfriend? Um, I don't know about that. Uh, um, that part, Ruo TV. Can you get me up to date, please? Grace Lewis say, them kick, them kick you out of the party because you was a destruction at that. Uh, kill you. Yeah. Sadiki Taylor go ahead again and say, man thing, man thing different. This is more than a gender conflict. What's next? <laughs> nah, no family. A Romed girl. <laughs> Lisa says. What do make me laugh? You know, me must be telling me under the weather, you know, man. <laughs> Lisa six say a Romed girl. No man. I what? <laughs> All right, we are the family. So Laurie and Taylor meet. Sadiki Taylor, yeah man, two of them meet each other. Say hi, Lauren Taylor. Lauren Taylor say hi, Sadiki. Yeah, we don't just meet each other. Not no wrong. Yeah, make sure so to subscribe. First me as soon. Yeah man. Um, Grace Lewis, walk one, big up herself in her always there. She can't stop the program of the party. Time come. What the baby father hiding? Why you keep saying that raw TV? What you talking about? She is very rude. Joan Edwards, big up herself. Joan Edwards says she is very rude. Yeah, man. So, JY family, I was hoping that I could get some calling, but as usual, I don't know, I'm afraid of the phone line. I have to put something for the number, say, don't be scared. I don't know. I don't know why you guys are afraid of the phone line. Why are you afraid for calling? Yeah, I, I um, address every caller as call her all if me know you in person me not call your name me just call your caller but i'm afraid for to call him in a force on last night yeah we get a lot of calling on our topic claudine williams walk one how she know that the girl is our double h o r and how she know that the child is a jacket huh as she did a put in and take out <laughs> Hey. Listen to me. Me can't manage. 
I cannot manage. Battery save all this. I'm plugging the charger. The computer tells me the battery are done. So right away. So right away, JY family, um, Claudine is question how, how she knows so much, you know, but, you know, you guys know she was a big part of the PMP and she was even running for president. So, yeah, she have a lot of information, allegedly, you understand? Yeah, she was an... She was on Android Live, I think, last year, and she was drunk as H E L L. Eh? Um, Sadiki, say Lorian, say hi. Sadiki, say back hi to Lorian. Meet each other. Yeah, man. Lisa Six is true. I heard her that night. Okay, okay. So, JY family, if you watch this live when we're not live anymore, please, me, I beg you, share the live, like the live. Comment down below and the question still stand. Can Karen Cross hurt PMP chance of winning the election? You know, I'm going to make sure so I type it down in the comment section because we need as much answers, all right? Yeah, so we now draw the thing. We at the hour mark, you know, so we now go over the hour. Yeah, man, so comment down below, silent viewers, silent listeners. Who they are, who they are? Me I'll cut out right now. She can't stop the PMP. All right, Lorraine. Lorraine says she can't stop the PMP. At least she make we know what I go on straight. Elian Phillips, big up herself, big up herself. Elian Phillips, you are Philip Powell of family. Let me know there. At that a K I L L her. She she didn't vote her out. Yes, Lisa, I remember that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. So, big one. Shut up, girl. Big one says, shut up, girl. Janus star. So, big up on yourself, JY family. Respect our manners. Thanks for tuning in. And big up my awesome moderators, especially Crystal. Mommy Joy, you there? Me never see you there, man. Big up yourself, Mommy Joy. Big up, big up. Me switch from JLP to PMP. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, we are going to have one, one of them night there, you know, but we have to call in. We have a vote of night. Who you think will win the election, PMP or JP? We are going to have one of them night there, but we have to call in and the person with the most call, anybody who call in and say, all right, like a call in and say, yo, PMP, and why? You know? Yeah, we are going to have a vote of man. So, we to stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you so subscribe. And stick around, support the favorite party. And I don't know anything. Go. Yeah, man. All if you don't support no party. Yeah, all if you the Gaza party, the Gully party, any party you support, make sure you say on a journey. Yeah, Philip is so hard. So, JY family, big up on yourself. Respect our manners. And guys, always remember we have PayPal, we have Cash App, we have Zelle. Or look at super chat same way. Can I support the channel, man? When you don't know Jamaica YouTube TV going above and beyond. Remember, me have a full-time job. I may take the time and give one of the things them, keep it up to date. Not you. Yeah, man. Consider so, so Wow, what a show, what a show, what a show, what an awesome show. Thank you guys for your tremendous support. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And thanks to my moderators for the awesome job you guys always been doing. Thanks to everybody who donate to the channel, whether now or a different time. I thank you all for making it Jamaica YouTube TV. Please hit the like button on the way out and leave your comment under the comment section on the way out. I cannot wait for the next live stream to see you guys again, to interact with you. Jamaica YouTube TV, more than a channel, it's a brand. Uh, wow. uh. Jamaica!